Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Let's get through are this. Are you familiar with the um the the uh, with the um PT was a calling card for Kojima Studios thing? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> I one hundred percent believe it. Let, we're let's go going, through, we're going down the PC rabbit hole again, guys. Here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's go through some of the Nintendo news real quick, and then we'll just get to um, what everyone's been playing. And if, if I miss, mm-hmm. so we're going to kind of like skim through this for some of the bigger stuff. If, if I miss anything, feel free to call it out. Um, so Splatoon 3 is launching in 2022. It's set in a new desert environment. Uh, Skyward mm-hmm. Sword HD is coming to Switch on July 16th with... Uh, with the option for non-motion controls and a new pair of Zelda-themed Joy-Cons. And I put in parentheses here, no Wind Waker. What the f***? Um, Where Mario is Twilight Go- Princess? Didn't Fuck didn't Twilight Princess. Uh, Mario Go Gold Super Rush coming uh, June 25th. Uh, Fall Guys is coming to Switch in the summer. Uh, Pura so and... Can I just... So can, I, can I say one thing about the Nintendo thing? Yeah, go ahead. So... I, 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 I think I blame myself for having very high expectations. Um, but you were it also, very disappointed. <laughs> I was very disappointed because like it's been well over, it had been well over 500 days since Nintendo actually had a full direct. And, um, then I was sitting there watching it live and, you know, and there's nothing wrong with this. Like, I get it. We, as America, we're pretty privileged to have, like, a lot of video game companies pander to the Western market. But, like, Nintendo was the, that, the pretty much 90% of that Nintendo Direct, I feel, was pandering to sort of the, um, like, anime style jrpg kind of video game characters and video games in general um and and or also like dating sims and all that thing which sarah i know you love your dating sims um but we uh, have for that baby it's coming it's in july like, there was literally nothing there for me and I, I mean maybe splatoon 3 that seems fun but like I I was not a big fan of Skyward Sword. I played it all the way through, and it I wanted either Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, and they gave I, us neither of those. I think so. motion yeah, controls are the least of Skyward Sword's issues. I just don't think it's a very well built game all around. Like mm. I can live without Twilight Princess. I want Wind Waker so fucking bad. Wind Waker is so also. Good. I swear to God, if they put another Fire Emblem or Xenoblade Chronicles character, yeah, in I'm gonna Smash, lose my I'm shit. Gonna Freaking lose my mind! But Corey, 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 Costume. They did God. something right when they they did something right when they put Banjo Kazooie in Smash because oh, Banjo yeah. Kazooie needed to be in Smash. Where's Crash? Where's Spyro? Where's Sora? Right, like all of these people. My boy Goku. <laughs> people got Dante trending Bro. on Twitter an hour before Smash the Smash announcement happened. We're gonna curse this every time someone fucking gets one of those two trending. They're never gonna be put in Smash. Well, you know what? If you want to play the best Smash game that has that features Isaac from Dead Space, you got to play PlayStation All Stars. Oh God, I did oh. for a while. Don't remind me, please. You can also Wait, play as Isaac, DMC Isaac, Dante. Not Isaac was in Dante PlayStation Dante All Stars. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, he was. <laughs> That's too good. You can play as a Big Daddy too. <laughs> Oh wow! I mean, you know what? I got a I got a release date for No More Heroes Three. That's all I care about, guys. I don't I don't I don't need to talk here in this segment anymore. I, I, I guess <laughs> I guess it's like more segment, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm just I'm just hopeful for the summer because usually the summertime with E3 and all that stuff is when they they announce their big things and they actually also, you know there's supposed so. to be another like Zelda direct coming up. Also, oh you know what? Also, People are actually very the heavily into that is three. Eh. Uh, people are also highly anticipating uh, Metroid news because I guess this is like the anniversary for it or whatever. Uh, I like well, Metroid a lot. Pokemon anniversary, and we didn't get anything. So yeah, but uh, oh, Metroid. Yeah. I I understand people really love Metroid. I like <laughs> Metroid. Metroid does not sell. I would not have any expectations for Nintendo rushing it. 
yeah. the door. Well, there's also there's a lot of there's a lot of like 35th anniversaries and stuff happening this year, and uh, because because all of all of Nintendo's major original titles launched within like one or two years of each other originally, mm. like when they first became a company. And so like oh. we saw, we saw like Mario's 35th anniversary last year. Now we're seeing Zelda's 35th anniversary, Pokemon's 35th anniversary, Metroid's coming up, you know, it's just like, and, and so they have all these anniversaries and they're trying to rush to like figure out what they're going to do. And I think everybody was hoping that the Nintendo direct was going to be like the Zelda 35th anniversary, like uh big news bomb, but it mm-hmm. wasn't like we be, we're like, okay, are they going to do the same thing that they did with Mario? Like they're going to, they're going to give us a three, like a three pack of, of like the best Zelda games mm-hmm. or something like that. And, you know, there was so much speculation. I think everybody was super disappointed when it wasn't, like a I, Zelda direct. I know? will We're say that if they package Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword, there would at least be one good game in there. People, people were <laughs> but, the, but that a ship, brand new, but a Corey, brand new Pokemon too. Like people Corey, were talking Corey, about like a Diamond and Pearl. Let's let's go, Corey, and that didn't happen. So. Corey, that that ship has sailed though. Stop. So like, I'm gonna I show mean, your I mean, ship. I'm gonna show Corey, sail, sail your ship. <laughs> Corey, I can understand where you're coming from, but I feel like people were expecting too much out of like the first giant 50 minute direct in like <laughs> a year and a half. Yeah. Um, like, to go down the rest of this mm-hmm. news, just just real quick. So Fall Guys is going to switch. There's Mesa a, there's a bunch of say, ports. Mesa or, wanted to say something. Actually, let me just get through this real quick, then I'll go just so we have all the details for everyone. Uh, Fall Guys coming to switch. Uh, Pyra and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles are coming to Smash Ultimates. Hyrule's Age of Calamity is getting an expansion pass with the first piece of content launching in June and the other in November. Mm-hmm. Outer Wilds is coming in the summer. Uh, Famicom Detective Club is coming May 14th. Uh, these are two games on the original Famicom that are being completely remade from the ground up with a visual novel style. No More Heroes 3 is launching exclusively on the Switch in August. Monster Hunter Rise coming March 26th. And Project Triangle Strategy, which is the same team behind uh, not 2019. uh, Same team behind uh, Octopath Traveler, which looks pretty visually amazing. And a physical release of Hades is coming March 19th. Uh, Mesa, you wanted to say something? I don't know. It's just like for me personally, um, you know, I love Skyward Sword. Um, uh, um, you know, it's not my personal favorite, but I still, I still, I still adore that game. So, um, and you know, I guess I, I, I was a little disappointed um, right after the direct, but after giving some time and like actually looking at what they actually announced, it's like, oh, mm-hmm. this is a this was a typical direct. Um, this was uh, in fact, like the fact that they announced um, uh, Splatoon three actually makes it a, a, one of the better ones. Um, I, uh, as in, as in like fifty one of the you know, you know what I'm sorry. I think people you also know. overestimate the rate at which Nintendo mm-hmm. first party games come out. They, it's also, not that you, often. Also, you also uh, forgot they, to mention Neon White, which was that awesome like first person card demon mm-hmm. battle simulator. That's that from the same cool. yeah, in did Donut County. The same dude who did Donut mm-hmm. County. That's his next game, and it looks like this cool, like anime style, like you're fighting demons in a heaven using a card based system. And it looks like the co- that was honestly the highlight of the direct for me, other than like the No More Heroes release date, because that looked so mm-hmm. fucking cool. Like it looked so different. And then like going on Twitter a few hours later and finding out the Donut County developers doing it. And I was like, holy shit, dude, talk, a, t- talk about a change from a cute raccoon making holes in the ground to fighting demons in hell with like a card based system. Let's see. Or fighting any, demons in uh, heaven. Any closing thoughts on the Nintendo Direct before we shift over to what we've been playing? Um, you know, it, and also, they did say that it was for the first half of the year. This is. <laughs> Even though they also have stuff here in August and stuff and whatnot. It's oh, yeah, but I mean, like, you're mainly focusing on the first half of the year. Mm-hmm. Which is means Twilight- have one for the next half of the year. Is Twilight what? Princess not the sunshine of Zelda? No. I would, you know, honestly, honestly, me personally, as a human being, I say Zelda doesn't have a sunshine. But that's me. That is a bold <laughs> statement. 
Zelda doesn't have a sunshine. All of them are. I every single 3D Zelda game is better than Sunshine. Me, you can just yeah, that you quote quote that on put that quote on me I'm, happily. I'm happily take that, that in your. I'm gonna put that in your obituary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I happily uh, play any of them. They're all great. 